Talking to Charlton head coach Guy Luzon ahead of Saturday's match at Cardiff. Guy, not so long ago, Charlton had not registered a win for three months and were just three points off the bottom three. Now the club sits in 12th place after winning four of their last five. What have you done to turn things around? Uh, you know, I bring my philosophy, my knowledge, my worth in defence, uh, my worth in attack. And uh, we have a great player with great character and mentality that improved very well and they took it to them and, uh, and but then they did well. Can you elaborate on what your philosophy is please? Philosophy to, to play total zone in defence with high pressure, with uh, double up in some area in the, in the field and when we are with the ball to be wide, to, to play on the ground to move the ball with patience. When you have the, the space to go to counter-attack, okay, we go, but when now we need to keep the ball with patience and uh, the position will be with us. Have you changed formation and changed training at all? I really don't know what happened here before in the training. Uh, I bring my, my, my knowledge and to the training and to the players and we analyze the, our games. After every game, we analyze the game and we, we fix what we need to fix and we improve uh, in defense, in attack, and we learn from our mistake. And that's the only way to success. Do you believe the club is now free from relegation worries? Yes, I think that uh, we will not uh, take part of the relegation uh, uh, war because games, because uh, we bring results, but we bring results with quality. We don't bring result uh, with a uh, lack or, you know, uh, without quality. If if we we play last last games and bring result without quality, I say it's a lack and we must to be aware. But uh, now in the situation, we bring result and we bring our quality and we play well. And uh, if we keep consistently like this and keep going like this, I'm not worried. You were missing several players in that very good win against Nottingham Forest on Tuesday. Are they available to you at Cardiff on Saturday? Some of them uh, will be available, but what's important is the team. It's not important uh, if uh, this play, guy will play or the other one. When uh, the team organised in good formation, all the players looked better and uh, it's OK. Who could be back in contention for Saturday? I think uh, Johan uh, will be ready to come back. and. Soli and maybe Roger, and we will see. And have you been to Wales before? No, it's my first time. So it'd be nice to celebrate with the win? Uh, of course, uh, every game. Since I'm here, we have uh, one target to come and to collect the three points. And we'll do everything to do it, also in uh, Wales. Guy Luzon, thank you very much. Thank you. Guy, uh, just talk about the injuries again. Tal Benheim didn't play. Tal will not uh, be ready for this game. Do you know when you expect him back, roughly? Maybe next time, next game. Next game, OK. And Eagle came off late on against uh, Forrest. Is he OK? He seems to be limping a little bit. We will see, we will see. I'm not uh, sure about it. I will be uh, more smart tomorrow. You know more smart, OK. Um, you know, you made no secret of the fact about a month ago that you were looking for a new striker. Now that Tony Watt and Eagle Fettikali are doing so well, does that mean that Charlton are no longer looking for another attacker on loan? For yes, for this season we finish with the recruitment. Uh, next season we'll analyze again the situation. Do you expect anyone to leave Charlton on loan before the loan window closes? Maybe, maybe players who didn't get the time to play here now and they have some offers from the other club. Maybe we will let them go. Okay. But now I don't know. Right, fair enough. Um, Tony Watt, he last ninety minutes the other night. You satisfied now that he's fully fit, match fit to last night? Yes, of course. He, Tony. Uh, Last period they play very well, not only in offense, also in defense. He, he improved his game and he worked a lot on defense and he worked hard, a lot to, to, to help us to, to, to intercept the balls and to uh, make an easy attack. And he, has, he make a great deal of progress. Uh, and what did you make of Alodiara's just by a centre half against Forrest on Tuesday? 
I think Aludia played very well also like a center defender. He brings his experience, he brings his quality. And he's a very good uh, player for us. You said he's got that versatility that he can play in different Yes, he can play uh, center defender or he can play uh, number six. Okay. Um, Cardiff on Saturday, what are you expecting at Cardiff? I'm expecting for my team, not from Cardiff. I'm expecting my team to keep consistently in defence and offence and to play our football and play on the ground and try to score goals. You mentioned on Tuesday that you've been playing three days, three days, three days. Are you satisfied that you've got enough strength? Obviously you keep winning, so why would you sort of change it? Are you satisfied you've got enough strength to keep on that winning run? What? On Tuesday, you said, you know Sharp will be playing every three days. Uh -huh. and you've got another game coming up. Yes. Saturday. Are you satisfied you've got enough to continue winning? In the squad? Yeah. I'm always uh, happy with the squad I have. I try to do the maximum with my squad. And I'm sure that uh, we will show, and our target will show the same performance like we, sh we showed before. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Henderson said afterwards he hadn't completely given up on the playoffs. Are you got any ambitions about playoffs at all this season? It's too late. I think it's uh, too far, no? 16 points. 16 points. 16 points in 33 on the box. 33. Uh, I think it's far away, but uh, we don't need to think about it. We need to think only about the next game then to uh, make the maximum to win the three points. If in the end we have some opportunity to do it, of course we will do, but now we are far away. But now our target only in, in Cardiff, if we don't think uh, so far away. Tony Watt's second goal against Huddersfield. Yes. Bit special, wasn't it? Against Huddersfield, second goal. Yes, it was special goal. Oh. Uh, it was a goal of uh, you know ability and quality. And uh, you need to continue like this. Yeah, have you seen? I've watched it a number of times. It really is a good goal, isn't it? If you are happy, also <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> no, but you're the manager, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> no, yes. I just, I just thought yes, it was a uh, uh, goal. You know. The job of Tony and the job of every player to bring his quality to the game. And I'm uh, happy that he, in this situation he brings his quality, but need to continue, it's not enough.